Welcome to Synagogues of New Zealand. We start out taking a look at a couple Jewish houses of worship in the city of Auckland. Auckland is its largest metropolitan area of about one and a half million people and it's located in the North Island section of the country. The camera is looking at the Auckland Hebrew congregation. It labels itself Martyr Orthodox and is located next to the city's only kosher cafe and grocery store. The building shown here was constructed in 1968. Its spiritual leader is Rabbi Friedler. It is also connected to the Kadima School, which is a Jewish day school from kindergarten through eighth grade. And here is Beth Shalom, which labels itself as progressive and has a membership of over 200 families. Services are held on Shabbat on Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. For whatever reason, the congregation does not list an official spiritual leader, but there is a Chava Foster noted as a rabbi leading several services. There is also a Chabad branch in Auckland, but they are almost impossible to locate. What we do know is that Rabbi Menachem Mendel Goldstein, you leave the North Island and go to the South Island in New Zealand to a city called Christchurch. Its metropolitan area has about 400,000 persons, and it's home to the Canterbury Hebrew Congregation. They are affiliated with the United Synagogue in London, England. Traditional services are held on Saturday mornings for Shabbat. An earthquake in 2010 and 11 damaged the synagogue and it has not yet been completely restored. The congregation does not list an official rabbi. There's another city in the South Island called Dunedin, and we're looking at the Dunedin Synagogue. It labels itself the world's southernmost synagogue. The congregation was established in 1862. This is its third location, which was constructed in 1965. This congregation practices the progressive form of Judaism. Services are held usually once a month and on all major holidays, and it does not have a rabbi. We move back over to the North Island to the city of Wellington, which is also the capital of New Zealand. And this is Temple Sinai. It is affiliated with the progressive Jewish movement. It was formerly known as the Wellington Liberal Jewish Congregation and was established in 1959. The congregation does not have a rabbi as a spiritual leader. Instead, it has someone called a mashpia, which is officially translated as an influencer, but they call it a guide or advisor. This lady does not have official ordination, but has been involved with the congregation for over 30 years in different capacities. Shabbat services are held on Saturday mornings and occasionally as well on Friday evenings. One correction, there has been a rabbi as spiritual leader in the past, but currently it appears that it is only the mashpia. Our final stop takes us to the Wellington Jewish Community Center. It is most likely the longest running congregation of the Orthodox variety in the New Zealand Australian area, having been in operation since 1843. It is also linked to a kosher store, kindergarten, and a Holocaust museum. Besides Friday evening and Saturday morning Shabbat services, there is also a Monday morning minion. The sanctuary portion of this operation is called the Beth El Synagogue. Visitors must pre-register for security reasons. Its rabbi is Yitzhak Mizrahi, and there is also a mikvah on the premises. As was earlier said, there are definitely one or two Chabad branches in New Zealand, but it is almost impossible to find its location, as they have a tendency to move around from address to address. This concludes our brief look at the Jewish presence in New Zealand. Omissions are not intentional, but rather due to a lack of publicity provided by various synagogues. Please check out our episodes of Synagogues of Other Countries. So, bye for now and see you real soon.